Let's talk about deploy. Uh, like I mentioned previously, deploy allows you to put cards on the position you want. When you put a deploy cards on top of the existing cards, it always try to push to the right. If you has, have a situation like here, no space on the right, then it will squish to left. Hero Reaper makes all cards deployable. That's why I recommended a new player to try out. Having every car be able to deploy makes your game easier because many of the game mechanics are position related. Triple is the most exciting feature of the game. Tripling rewards you a card that's one tier higher than your tavern level or a powerful upgrade for the card that's tripling. Let me explain. Your tavern store will only supply you cards with level as high as your tavern tier. Tripling allows you to get higher level cards without upgrading your tavern. When you have three copies of same cards, you can choose to triple it. It should have a glowing effect to remind you. However, you shouldn't rely on that because it only shows up when there are two copies of the card already enter the field. Tripling merges two existing cards units in the field, not including the third one. In my how to play the Hakka's video, I showed you that the Hakka can convert cards into Primal Hydralisk, and here's how you can use Triple to merge those powerful units. Tripling makes a card golden, and usually double amount of production. Production is how you grow your army, and this is the main difference versus Hearthstone. In this game, each card can contain up to 200 units. Having a mean of production to add units to your card is the core feature of this game. All race have their own way of producing units. So for example, Zerg, it will spawn a cocoon and there's also other mechanic called Hatch where one cards provide units to the adjacent Zerg card. I will explain those in future video. Extension pack. If you are a new player, you can ignore it. Essentially what it does. They add few cards into the carpool of this match. Usually two extension packs will be active. You cannot get those cards when those packs are not active. So for more experienced player, they will pick their hero based on what extension pack has been active. That way they can go for some, some of the stronger combination. In the next video, I'll go over details of tavern tiers.